Well, good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kyla Scott. And I'm Stephen Pappas. Our top story tonight, one of the four victims in Monday's stabbing on Louisiana Tech's campus has died. KTVE has learned Annie Richardson succumbed to her injuries this evening. Richardson was being treated in a hospital in Shreveport after being airlifted there on Monday following the fateful incident. Richardson is one of the victims in Monday's stabbing. The incident happened shortly after 9 Monday morning. According to officials, the attack happened outside, the bill, outside of the building as the victims were leaving. The suspect has been identified as Louisiana Tech student Jacoby Johnson. He was arrested shortly after the stabbing. This evening, the school held a candlelight vigil to honor those victims. NBC 10's Valley Moravi has the latest details. The Louisiana Tech University community is mourning the loss of artist Annie Richardson. In a statement, school president Les Guy said, quote, Our Tech family will feel the pain of this incident for some time, but we are fortunate to have such a caring community to rely upon as we grieve together. No Dozens of people came out to the quad for a community prayer in support of the victims. Well thought out prayer and a beautiful song. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Kind of being surrounded by Louisiana Tech uh, students just kind of coming together um, to just show support and love for each other um, in the midst of all this craziness. The students and faculty staff wrote prayers, encouraging messages and put a candle inside the bags as a tribute. It was an evening of songs, light and darkness. But their silence also came with healing and hope. I'm just praying for peace and safety, um, for comfort mentally and physically, um, for both the victims and um, uh, just, you know, the guilty party in all of this. I like how we're all together. I wish it was on better circumstances, but it was a beautiful vigil. And I'm really glad that I attended. Louisiana Tech University will be offering counseling to all students throughout the week at no cost. A campus blood drive is scheduled for Thursday, November 16, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For details, visit amarclimist.com. Reporting in Rustin and Valerie Moravi for your Arclimist News Source.